What's going on, guys, and welcome to Season 2 of Hashtag GSM4GM here in WWE 2K23. We're kicking off my GM mode here. We're selecting the process and where I get my general manager. Um, I've been struggling even before I hit record here of who to choose. You have Adam Pierce, Sonya Deville, Stephanie McMahon, Xavier Woods, Tyler Breeze, both from Up, Up, Down, Down, Kurt Angle, Eric Bischoff, and Mick Foley. So they give you a wide range of general managers. In Season 1 in 2K22, I selected my own custom superstar, Graham G.S. Matthews, of course. Um, I haven't created him yet, myself, whatever, in the game. So I have to kind of go with whoever they have. Um, I don't want to do Adam Pierce. I don't want to do Sonya. I don't want to do Stephanie. Woods or Breeze. It's really down to Angle, Bischoff, and Foley. I'm doing... SmackDown, again, I love SmackDown. I was considering here for Season 2 maybe switching it up and maybe doing Raw. I really want to do SmackDown. Um, Kurt Angle's my go-to choice, but I may at some point want him on my roster. Now that he's a playable character in the game compared to last year, um, at some point, depending on how long we go for this, I may never even get to that point. Kurt Angle may, I mean, you can have him be a GM and on the roster. Just to me, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I'm probably going to go Mick Foley even though he doesn't really scream SmackDown to me. And um, after that, I'll, I'll probably oppose Eric Bischoff unless they choose for me. Um, Wood saying, just like your GM choice, the brand you select will have a unique power card specific to the brand. Create a com combination that will take your brand to the top. I don't really care about that sort of shit. Um, it's more to me what what brand I like. I'm, I'm going to do SmackDown again and have Bischoff run Raw. Uh, I know Bischoff almost... I mean, Bischoff's a heel GM. I'm probably not going to be a heel GM. So, which is why, and, and and whoever the computer is, is probably going to book some shitty-ass results, even though we had Regal do that last year. Um, so you can be SmackDown, Raw, NXT, or NXT 2.0, which is terrible, but I, I appreciate the uh, variety here. Or WCW, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's just go SmackDown, Raw again. Maybe another time I'll switch it up. Um, the opposition, now select your rival GMs and brands. Choose one to three other human or CP opponents that you'll be competing against. Interesting. I'm considering... Hmm. That's interesting. Um, it's going to be a CPU. Bischoff will run Raw. Actually, I'm thinking, like, WCW would be pretty fucking cool. Um, it's random as fuck. I, I'm, I just like the, the continuity of it being, like, NXT. But, like, who would I have run NXT? Probably... Probably Tyler Breeze. Um... I mean, I guess it could be Adam Pierce or Sonya, but Sonya's on the roster. That just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Adam Pierce is boring as fuck. Regal, if he was in the game, would have been perfect. Um, we'll have Bischoff run Raw for sure. <clears throat> well, let's let's do NXT as well. I feel like that'd be pretty cool because there's a big roster. So um, we'll have Tyler Breeze in the game. And like I said, Kurt Angle would be nice, but I want him on the roster at some point. And I just don't like the continuity of him being a GM and also on the active roster. And again, like I said, we may never, we may never even get to that point. Um, and Foley would have been perfect for NXT, I feel like. But let's have Breeze in here as NXT. And not this NXT 2.0 bullshit. Um, Alright, cool. We're not going to do a fourth brand. I feel like that's too much. Maybe next here. Uh, would you like to confirm these brands and GMs for this session of my GM? Yes, I would. AI difficulty... Uh, hmm. Should I do normal or should I do easy? AI difficulty... The AI will make more intelligent choices the higher difficulty setting. Um, let's... Let's... Um, the AI will make more intelligent choices the higher... Let's do easy. I didn't do all that well last year, so let's just do easy. And if you're thinking, oh, that's too easy. Well, I fucking lost last year, so let's let's dumb it down a little bit. Uh, game difficulty, two mid-card matches during the regular show, three during PLEs. Small budget reduction, reduction in later seasons. Uh, medium morale threshold for keepers and superstars. Um, hard is moderate budget reduction. Um, high morale threshold for keepers and superstars quitting. Increased injury chances. One mid-card match during regular shows. No budget reduction. Low morale. Uh, reduced injury chances. And starting assistance from... No, let, let's just do normal for that. We'll do easy for this, normal for this. Opening budget. Begin the game with a higher or lower a budget. Definitely a higher budget. I want as much money as possible here. Um, player order. Change whether or not the turn order remains the same every show for... 
human player straight order or the player turn order reverses every show snake order um yeah straight order the player turn yeah let's do straight order i i don't like the the snake order i've never really been a big fan of that shakeups turn shakeups on for the game on or off after some premium live event shows you'll be asked to choose a shakeup shakeups modify your season in new and i mean honestly why the fuck not Draft pool determines which superstars are available for drafting. Use custom to create your own draft pool with both real and created superstars. Um, we'll do default. Hopefully it uh gives us everyone available. Like I'm not choosing legends and shit right now anyway, so we'll probably just do default. Auto draft. Um, the method of drafting superstars either done manually or by the players done automatically. Uh, we're turning that off. So, the method of drafting superstars is either done manually or by the players done automatically. Uh, yeah, now we're not doing auto-draft. All right, let's get into the draft here. And I figured I would love to say I saved this for draft week in real life WWE going on right now, but I did not. I was going to do this, like, after Mania, I said initially, and I just ran out of time. Uh, I just didn't have the time to do it. So, here we are doing it during draft weekend here in WWE right before night two of the draft. I'm hoping to get this up before then. Season one, interesting. Okay. The rosters are about to change. Each GM will start with a budget of three million two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. GMs will take turns drafting one after the other. There will be nine rounds of drafting. After the ninth round, drafting becomes optional. GMs can opt out of draft, or, or, or rather, I'm sorry, or draft until they are out of cash. Tip: GMs can press R three to get recommendations on who to draft. I'm not doing that. Um, you can also press square to get more information about a superstar. Awaiting SmackDowns. Oh, okay, so we have the first pick. Um, you know, consider the class, blah, 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 building your roster. You also want different classes with, okay. I also want the goods and bads to mix and match to different classes, so make sure you take notes. Um, a superstar's star power will determine how well they draw crowds and viewers. Building your roster, you can raise the superstar's popularity, we know that. Um, don't overdo it, superstars can get tired too, keep a close eye on their stamina, okay, we know that. All right, so we get the first pick here in the draft. I think we got to go Brock Lesnar. And he's going to be working more than once a fucking week. I'll tell you that much. Um, I think you, you got to go top dog. We're first in the draft. I think we go Brock. And then we'll figure out where to go from there. Um, or do we really want him working every week? I mean, I probably... You know, he's not going to be a part-timer in my game. We go Brock Lesnar on SmackDown. All right. Brock is brew, uh, blue. Broke. Um, all of the drafted superstars are over here. We know that. Uh, feeling a little lost. Okay, we don't care about that. So Raw is going to go Becky Lynch. All right, that's a good pick. NXT is going Ronda Rousey. The woman who completely bypassed NXT. Interesting. Um, I think they're just going to be going down the list here. We have a lot of people available to be drafted. I don't think this is the... It is Logan Paul all the way fucking down here? That's crazy. Um, Damn. There's a lot of people. Let's go... We have... They drafted women. That's great. Uh, I think we got to go to... Uh, yeah, I think we got to go Finn Balor. We need to heal. And uh, let's pick Finn to SmackDown, baby. Raw's getting edge. Interesting. Okay. NXT, Bianca's headed back to the black and yellow, black and gold brand. Um, I think we should get a women for our show, obviously. Uh, I'm going to go Charlotte Flea. I kind of want Rhea. I could see them taking Rhea. Uh, let's see, but Rhea's stamina is a little lower than Charlotte's, and her popularity is just one off. Let's, let's go Rhea on SmackDown. I'm feeling Rhea on SmackDown. Should be our centerpiece of the division. Kevin Owens headed to Monday Night Raw. NXT selecting Johnny Gargano. I mean, come on. That only makes sense. That, that's a great pick there from uh, Tyler Breeze. SmackDown. We got to go. Um, we'll go another big male. Let's go AJ Styles. He bleeds blue. I've always thought of Styles as a SmackDown guy. Raw going MVP. Going the bottom of the barrel. Listen, I love. Oh, and NXT gets Rey Mysterio. That's pretty cool. I would have wanted Ray. Um, all right. So we still have over two million. Let's see. We're not picking fucking Ezekiel. 
Um, it's funny that he and Elias are like the exact same thing, except Elias's stamina is a lot higher. <laughs> um, let's see. Rhea we have, and she's... We need a top women's baby face, but there's none like... Like, they're all heels. I'm going to have to turn Rhea baby face on my show. Or Alexa Bliss. Um, I I think we go Charlotte. I think we pick up Charlotte. We have Rhea and Charlotte on our show. That's what I'm feeling. Like. We'll get Charlotte. All right. Alexa Bliss goes to Monday nights. NXT getting Gunther. Oh, that was a good pick. Gunther and Johnny could be a fucking kick-ass match. All right, so on SmackDown, um, we have AJ as a baby face, right? Who was AJ? I selected Charlotte. I can't see the draft order right now. Can I go over to that? I can't. Um, let's see. Shinsuke we got available. Um, we're not picking them. I think NXT's got to pick Ciampa. Um, let's pick another top male here. I'm, I'm thinking Shinsuke. I'm going, like, top picks as far as, like, cost and stuff. Um, yeah, let's go Shinsuke on SmackDown. I'm thinking Shinsuke is a blue guy. He can work with uh, AJ Styles. They're picking Dewdrop, all right, for Raw. NXT's got Elias, not exactly a first-round pick. Round seven. Um, let's see. Matt Riddle's probably next up here. I mean, Randy Orton, actually. Or Orton and Riddle. They'll, they'll probably pick Riddle next. I'll go Riddle first before they can get him. Riddle and Orton on the show makes a ton of sense. And I have a much less budget than everyone else because I'm picking like the top picks here. They got Ezekiel and... Uh, all right, that's interesting. Raw NXT got Elias. And Raw got Ezekiel. And NXT got Logan Paul. That's pretty cool. I should have picked Logan Paul even though he's cheap. Uh, Randy, I'm thinking we get Randy here. I'm thinking we go Randy. I don't give a fuck about most of these people. Uh, Bailey will have to pick up next, assuming she's still available. Let's go Randy Orton, baby, on SmackDown. Raw's got a cure at Tazawa. They're really like... I mean, they're, they're spacing out their budget. I am not. I have a million and $300,000 left. Um, let's go another woman here. Another woman. Let's go Bailey, I'm thinking. Let's go. We only have Charlotte and, and uh, Rhea so far. Let's go Bailey and the Blue Brand. That's what I'm thinking. Raw picks up Tommaso Ciampa. All right, splitting up DIY. NXT getting Alba Fire. Very nice. Now you've entered the optional rounds. All right. Oh, no. I'm going to continue drafting. Oh, uh, we're still drafting, baby. Um, Let's go bottom. These are all, like, really low NXT picks. Chad Gable, Shanky, Dominic, Wesley. Hmm. Who am I liking on the roster here? Uh, Sammy Zayn. I'm thinking Sammy. Let's get Sammy on our show, and then we'll go a little bit later down the list as we go along here. We got Sammy Zayn. Raw, to, Raw gets Braun, that makes sense. NXT Montez Ford, good pick, good pick. Alright, round 11. Let's see, who are we thinking for round 11? Happy Corbin, eh. Um, Top Dalla, Otis. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm thinking Chad probably, honestly. Um, Chad and Otis would be a great team, so we'll probably do Alpha Academy on SmackDown, and if not, we just get Chad. I don't think they'll pick him up. Um, Carmella is a little high in the cost list. Um, so is Art Ruth. Let's go... Uh, let's see here. Let, let's go Chad Gable. We'll go Chad Gable, round 11. Chad Gable! Raw's has got Angel. Interesting. NXT gets Omos. That's funny. Uh, we'll probably go Otis next. Let's get Otis, so at least we have uh, Alpha Academy. Raw's getting Carmella. NXT picks. Yo, Ricochet. Great pick. Great pick. 
Um, let's move a little bit lower down the ladder here. Probably, oh, let's get another female at least. So we have some more women to start. I like Gigi Dolan on our show. Or Roxanne, actually. All right, so probably Roxanne, and then we'll come back for, like, probably Wesley. Poor Jade would be great, too. All right, let's go Roxanne Perez. Roxanne Perez kind of feels like a SmackDown person. We're all getting EO. Oh, no, they're done with their roster. All right, so roster... Raw's roster looks like this. I mean, there's more people, but MVP... Elias, or Ezekiel, rather. Edge, Akira Tozawa, Becky Lynch, Kevin Owens, Alexa Bliss, and Dewdrop. NXT is done as well. Go, oh, that's a nice roster. roster. Gunther, Elias, Ronda Rousey, Johnny Gargano, Bianca Belair, Rey Mysterio, Shayna Baszler, and Logan Ball. That is a nice fucking roster. SmackDown contemplates their next pick. We're still going here. Um, we got Roxanne... Let's go Wesley. Yeah, let's go Wesley. Smackdown picks. Wesley. X marks the spot and we'll probably go one more on round here and one more person. We will pick up one more female. I'm thinking. Um, probably. Yeah, I'm thinking probably someone at the beginning there. I'm not picking them. Let's go Cora Jade. Cora's a baby face. That's interesting. They have well, they have baby face Cora. Um, yeah, that that could. Mm, let's see. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking Cora. Cora and Roxanne. If she's a baby face, they could do stuff together as a team. Gigi's a heel here. We already have enough heels. Let's go Cora Jade. Cora Jade. I think Cora we're done Jade though. Now yeah, we'll save the two hundred fifty thousand dollars for division. our budget. And that's it. And the draft to confirm your current roster. Yes, let's go. All right, that's our. That is our roster right there. Um, that's a nice looking roster. Charlotte Flair, Rhea Ripley, Shinsuke Nakamura, Brock Lesnar, Finn Balor, Matt Riddle, and Randy Orton, among other people, obviously as well. Damn, that is a nice looking roster. All right, I think we're ready to book our first show here. With Mick Foley as the GM, no less. The after the draft. Let the games begin. Damn, look at that. All right, nice. Ah, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. It's everyone's dream to someday make it into the WWE Hall of Fame. To get there, you'll need to prove that you have what it takes to manage your talent, money, and brand of the top complete career achievements and season challenges over the course of your GM career to keep your eye on the prize and beat the opposing brand GMs to the Hall of Fame. Um, WWE Hall of Fame. Who is that signed by? Triple H and... What is that, Vince? I can't say. Um, to enter the WWE Hall of Fame and prove you're the best, be the first to earn 10 Hall of Fame trophies. Um, trophies can be awarded through either career achievements or seasonal challenges. Entering the Hall of Fame will allow you to continue playing or retire your save file. Newark, New Jersey. Four weeks till SummerSlam. Okay. Uh, unread messages. We know that. Uh, Triple H says, tonight is the night, the debut show. We have high hopes for you. Uh, let's see. Cannot wait to get started. We're going to storm this with the rest of it. Yeah, let's do that. I'm confident. Good. I'm expecting big things of SmackDown this season. Make it an amazing show. Eric Bischoff says, Mick, how's it going? Just wanted to wish you luck for the coming season. We're looking forward to over at Raw. Obviously, with the likes of Becky Lynch on our books, we think we're going to give SmackDown more than a run for its money. I guess we're going to find out. Uh, Tyler Breeze said, uh, Hey, Mick, I just wanted to let you know that I plan on taking NXT to the top of the power rankings and staying there. I have the roster and show running capabilities to do it. I don't think SmackDown stands a chance. You really think you can contend with us when we have superstars like Ronda Rousey? Get real. Um, yes, the answer is yes, Tyler Breeze. Uh, selecting your champions. It's time to fulfill for, for you to choose your inaugural champion. Choose carefully because title matches are a ratings boost. I have to choose a champion. You can't just, I guess. I was just gonna. Nice. I don't know. SmackDown World Champion. Oh my God! You don't. They don't call it the Universal Title. That's terrible. What do they fucking call it? The SmackDown World Champion. Don't tell me that's what they call it. Um. Anyway, you can't just do. You can't do, like, vacant and then they fight for it on SmackDown. I guess not. 
We, we dealt with that last year. I think it's going to be... Brock has got to be our guy. I mean, it's Brock fucking Lesnar, so... We'll make Brock the champ. All right. SmackDown Women's Champion. <laughs> People are going to fucking hate this, but... I think Charlotte makes the most sense. Charlotte makes the most sense, and the other women can fight for it. Rhea will probably be her first challenger. Roxanne and Cora will be waiting in the wings. Uh, let's go Charlotte here. All right, Charlotte and Brock. Not everyone's favorite choices, but hey, you got to put the two top titles on established stars and then work your way down from there. That's what I'm thinking. Confirm selections. Um, in progress, Triple H is waiting to see how your first show fares. Uh, do not put Brock Lesnar in a match this week. All right. Ba -ba -ba. The journal's where you want to go. We know that. For each other, commissioner's going to have a new goal for you. All right, we know that. Make sure to keep your eye on the prize by checking in on your career progress and what milestones you'll need to hit in order to make the WWE Hall of Fame. And we have the technology to keep all this info at your fingertips with the GM Assistant. Open the Assistant from anywhere in the GM Hub to access what you see here and much more. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, booking your show, we know that. Booking your show for your show will have the number of matches that must be booked. Uh, multiple super, mo you can also multiple promos per show. These are optional, but I encourage you to make use of all your superstars. Um, show logistics. Yeah, we know all that. Same thing as the last game. Yep, we know all that. It's the same stuff. We know that. Okay, complete five. This is new. Um, hire five free agents. Purchase all power cards. Uh, all right, cool. Just for shits and giggles, looking at the fucking free agents, John Cena. I can oh can't buy actually. I don't have enough money, but he's on the free agency. Karrion Cross is also available. Wow, he was not in the free agency. The Usos are also available. Interesting. Uh, we'll fill out our show and, and see who's still here in a second. Because maybe we'll buy more people, especially if they're cheaper for a couple of weeks, you know. Uh, maybe we'll do that. Because I feel like we just still have a small roster, even though we picked more people than the last, than uh, the other two brands. Is I wanted to do 50 weeks. I mean, it says show one of 25. I thought it was all 50. I guess, I mean... Can you not change that? I, I guess not. I mean, we'll start with 25, and it says you can either keep going or retire it, so... Uh, whatever. Um, all right, let's book our first show here. And uh, he said not to put Brock Lesnar in a match, so we will not. I'm hoping... Uh, welcome, where you can have the magic happen in order to book a match. Okay, we know that. Oh, thank God. Thank God, I was going to say, I'm really hoping they have the multi-man matches. I heard that they did, but I wasn't 100% sure because I haven't played this yet. They did it in the last game, and that really bothered me. I think you... Do we not have mid-card titles, too? I'll have to check. So this is our... That's our main event. Um, Tag team. Wow, you got a lot of fucking steps. A lot of stipperuskis. Um, We'll probably do... I mean, let, let's start at the bottom and work our way up here. Um, Brock's not going to be in a match. We'll open the show on a pretty big note. Um, do we have a, too many heels? Well, I, I feel like Wesley would be good in the opener. Or no, we'll put some two top... I mean, we kind of have to do it in order, right? Um, Wesley, I feel like versus Sami Zayn would be a really nice match. So we'll probably start with that. And then Finn and Nakamura tonight would be nice. Maybe with AJ in the corner, women's match, and then something in the main event. I mean, maybe the the AJ the fat the Balor Nakamura match rather would probably be main eventing. Um, let's let's do Wesley actually in the opener. Yeah, let's do Wesley versus Chad Gable. That sounds nice. Wesley versus Chad. Men's match. Is that the Intercontinental Championship? Booking interference. You'll have two options when choosing interference. Run-ins will let you choose a superstar to run in on. 
another superstars match. It will always end in a DQ. Great way to level up rivalries. More on that later. GM interference lets you, yes, you enter a corner of a. Yeah, we know that. Um. Well, I mean, we we will have. I guess this is the Intercontinental Championship. I think. I mean, let's book the match and see. I mean, that looks like the Intercontinental title to me. It doesn't say. It just says title match. I mean, we're not going to do Brock. Well, I'm, I'm not actually doing this. Oh, yeah. It's for the... Okay. All right. So, they do have an Intercontinental Championship. All right. Well, probably... I, I don't... I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I want to crown an Intercontinental Champion tonight. Maybe we'll do like a mini tournament. Maybe that's what we'll do. Um, with four different people, and then we'll kind of go from there. Um, we will do interference here. Otis will interfere and attack him. Using a running will limit your match options to only simulate in this match. Would you like to continue? Yes. All right. Let's see. Balor Nakamura. That's a pretty good main event for our first show. I think that that's that's not bad. Actually, I really like Rory. Hmm. Let's see. Sammy and Rain. I, well, let's let's figure out our intercontinental title situation. This will be one match. Maybe we can have like a little mini tournament. And the winner of this little mini tournament can um, win the Intercontinental title. I just feel like that makes the most sense. So this is one match. We only we have a very limited roster, so we kind of have to keep it like brief. Um, we'll do Charlotte. I'm also feeling Roxanne Perez being in a match tonight. Um, Roxanne Perez will be in a match with, I'm thinking with Charlotte. I, I'm thinking we have the women's champion, like, just in a match straight up. I think we have that, yeah, clear this match. Let's, let's do that as the opener. Charlotte versus Roxanne Perez. Um, like a newcomer sort of thing. Interference running off. All right, so that'll be our opener. We will do Wesley and Chad Gable next. Sounds like a pretty logical matchup. Interference, run-in, Otis. Yep, that makes sense. And then, who else do we have left? We're not going to do another women's match tonight. Uh, we will do a men's match. Brock can't be in a match. We have AJ Orton, Riddle. AJ's a babyface, as is AJ. We have more babyfaces than heels on the men's side currently. Hmm. Balor and Naka. I'm just trying to think. Like, what what are the inner what are the intercontinental title matches? Like, what are those qualifying matches going to look like? Wesley and Chad should be one. Maybe we'll do a triple threat. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll do different qualifying matches. These two can fight just in the main event as a main event. That that won't have anything to do with the intercontinental championship. Um. The other match can be... I'm, I'm thinking Riddle and Sammy. Riddle and Sammy probably makes sense. I mean... Hmm. Let's... I don't know. Let's do Randy in this spot. Let's do Randy and Finn. That, that seems like a pretty big match. Let's do that. Let's keep Randy away from the Intercontinental title picture. Uh, Balor will be our top heel right from the get-go because Brock is a top babyface. So we'll do Balor and Randy in the main event for the first time here on the show. And in the other match, let's see, Riddle. Hmm. Riddle and probably Shinsuke and Sammy or Riddle and Sammy? I'm thinking Shinsuke and Sammy. Let's do, you know, or AJ and Sammy. That's another op that's another possibility. Um, let's see here. I'm not really sure. AJ and Sammy Zayn. Because the winner will face Wesley. I'm thinking AJ and Sammy. I feel like that probably would be a pretty fucking awesome match. Let, let's do that. Alright, let's do that match. Booking promos, we know that. Call out, role change, advertising, charity. I mean, does this count for 
Brock does, okay, Brock can't have a match, but he can, he can talk tonight. So Brock will be in a promo over here. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Riddle. Hmm. I'm thinking Rhea will probably, let's put, hmm. Well, we have to change Rhea. Rhea, we have we have already too many baby faces. We'll change Rhea. She'll do a role change. Uh, nah, we won't change Rhea yet, I'm thinking. I'm thinking... Maybe we'll have her, like, she's a heel now, but she'll, like, team with Charlotte, and they just won't get along. And then maybe, like, Rhea, like, Charlotte turns on her or something. So let's not just randomly turn her yet. We'll do a... Have her an advertising promo. Or she... Maybe she calls out Cora Jade. Call out. Let's see, Cora. Alright, let's have these two together. Alright, I like that. Cora will call out Rhea. They'll probably have a match. Um... It'll lead to a tag team match. Charlotte and Rhea versus Roxanne and Cora. Rhea from there can go out and be a baby face. I like that. Uh, Self-promo. Probably Matt. I mean, Shinsuke is the most popular guy in the show currently. Let's go Shinsuke Nakamura. Alright. Advertising. Let's do small bonus of fans for the week. Let's do charity. All right, I think this is our show, and we'll, we're going to watch the first match. We're, like, all of week one will be, uh, this first episode will be pretty loaded. So let's do all of this. Um, show logistics, we have to do this. Let's see. Uh, let's see. No logistics. All right, manage roster. All right, I think we're good. I think we're we're not gonna do any power cards or anything. Uh, Birth of Legends, Cactus Jack. Let's see. All right, I think this will be our first show. We're good. All right. Let's see. Journal Commissioner Goal. All right. Let's get to our first show here. Confirm booking. Starting the show is an overview of your snapshot. All right. Um. Yeah, that looks like that looks pretty good to me. We're gonna have Charlotte, Roxanne, Wesley, Chad. We'll probably watch Finn and Orton in the main event. Uh, confirm booking. Uh, welcome to your first show. You can choose to inspect me. Uh, this is not a title match, right? No, it's not. All right, good. So we will simulate this match. We will watch the main event. Our first main event on the show. Um, simulate. One, two, two three. Three. Charlotte Flair beating the debuting Roxanne Perez. All right. There are many things that fans consider when rating your matches. Things like class and raw matchups, match types, popularity, and more. You may not have received the rating you wanted, but try out a combination of different things, and I know you'll get it down. Um, okay, promo, 5,000 new fans. This always results in a DQ. Wesley winning by disqualification with the run-in. Disappointing? How is that match disappointing? New rivalry with Otis and Lee. Okay. So Wesley moves on, by the way, in the tournament. That's my own booking of it. Um, Cora calls out Rhea Ripley. Ashley does. 
Uh, this person will also be moving on in the Intercontinental Championship Tournament, Sami Zayn or AJ Styles. Uh, and next week, I think we'll crown our first Intercontinental Champion. Let's see. Simulate. Yeah, simulate because we're watching the main event. Sami Zayn wins. It's going to be Sami and Wes Lee. Interesting. In the finals of our Intercontinental Championship Tournament. Um, Brock Lesnar. Boom, boom. I mean, I guess we could stretch this out until SummerSlam because we have four weeks, but... I don't know. We'll probably we'll just we'll just crown the champion next week. Um, and this one we will watch. We will spectate on Finn Balor and Randy Orton. This should be a pretty good matchup. Bounce, bounce. Oh, here comes Finn. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys can hear the entrances anyway. Here comes Finn. Um, options. Skip the scene. It's in we're in a fucking high school gym. I forgot about that. That's where you start out. Finn Balor, Oregon. Back to Oregon. The Indies, Randy Orton will be caught dead in the fucking high school gym. Man, I miss Randy Orton. Here comes, here comes Randy. The most awesome. lethal superstar in W. I don't know what our first program is going to be. I'm not exactly sure. Um, maybe we'll do a triple threat with these three. I don't know. Them and Brock. All right. All right. Here we go. Balor getting early control of Randy Orton. Boom. Trying to catch him off guard with that attempt. Big Oh man, nice forearm from Balor. Balor getting early control. That's probably what we'll do because I think Balor and Randy will start out as a feud. So maybe we can put them in a triple threat with Brock. At the because Brock does. I mean, this is the problem with Brock not having a match this week. He doesn't have a rival. Um, I mean, I, get, I guess we can always kick it off next week. It'll probably just be easier to do Randy, Balor, and Orton um, in a triple threat for the. Balor, Randy, what, what, did I say Randy and Orton? I mean, Orton and Lesnar for the World Championship. And they're calling it just the SmackDown World title, which is hysterical. Um, because in, in, in real life, Balor and Bailey, in real life, they had the Undisputed Championship when they made this game, so they don't really have separate titles anymore. I mean, I, I don't think you can change the championships that are available on the brands like you can in Universe mode. Randy, you fucking idiot. Balor thwarted. Boom! Kick to the face. Balor getting early control here. Looking for more damage here. Oh, back on the floor. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Oof. Throws him into the side. What's next here? Oh, man. Not even close. If anything, he's the one doing God the intimidating damn. right now, Michael. Boom. Oh. Nice combo. Big forearm. Jesus. Answers back on a Balor battling back here. Oh, nice STO to the outside. Balor, I thought, had the upper hand, but his, his bar is completely... Devoid of green, I guess, until now. Oh, nice drop kick there from Bauer. Oh, Orton getting back up. Doesn't want to lose in a fucking high school gym. Throws Balor into the side. Balor's got to get big. We might have a count out in our first SmackDown main event. Oh, barely making the count. Barely. I mean, it wasn't about to go to 10. It was going to go to 9, but still. That would have been a disappointing way to end our first main event. Oh, Balor missing. Orton. Oh, the Thez press. Boom, boom, boom. Hmm. Boom. Kick to the gut. Kick to the gut again. In a clothesline. Oh, boom. 
I also don't know to answer any questions about will this be canon with my last 2K season or not. Probably not. I don't think I'm acknowledging what happened last season. I, I think these, I have an entirely new roster anyway. <laughs> I don't think I have any of the same people I did last time. So probably not. Um, oh, Ballard. It's up on the shoulders of Orton. No, oh, and he's on the, on the top rope. Oh, and he gets thrown down to the floor by Ballard. Ballard gaining control. And a punch to the side. Oh, kick to the chest of Orton. And another kick. All right, he's waiting for Orton. He's waiting for his prey. He's got him. And oh, mid to the outside. A little stun on the top of the rope. On the top rope. And a slingshot and misses like a moron. Orton, strike to the face and then to the neck. Oh, again, what are we thinking here? And he's got him up. Oh, right on the ring apron. Oh, right. oh come on. Throw him back in. Throw him back in. There we go. Orton. Getting back in the ring. Getting back in the ring. Oh, is he going for a phenomenal form? What the fuck? Oh, clothesline to Balor. Don't win on a clothesline, please. One. Nope. Kick out at one. And oh, 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 oh. Thrown to the outside. And DDT. There it is to Balor, who's busted open a little bit. Damn, he's getting some color in her first SmackDown main event. Uh, let's see. Okay, oh no, he dodges Balor. Oh, to the back. That was nice. Bit of a backstabber there from Finn Balor. And another one, Coup de Gras. No, not, what the fuck am I saying? DDT, float over. Oh, nice forearm to Orton. Dude, dropping the elbow. That was a nice counter there with Orton looking for the RKO. I like that a lot. DDT to Randy. <sighs> he just keeps hitting those DDTs. Can Balor capitalize and pick up the victory? Kick to the gut. Boom! Another basement drop kick. Is that what you call it? I don't think so. What's he thinking? What's he thinking? STO. If he goes to the top. Oh, you're not going to the top yet. I thought he was thinking for a coup de gras. Huh? Boom! Oh, he might be going for it now. He might be going for it now. Coup de gras. Oh, he connects. The coup de gras. One, two, three. Finn Balor wins our first SmackDown main event. Massive win for Finn Balor. It may even be Finn and Brock one on one. Wow. Very nice. With a win like this, things have got the taste of What if I did a title match and did a run-in? I mean, I guess you can't have title changes. We learned that in the last game. But it always ends up in a DQ, though. We learned that. Interesting. Disappointing. Fuck all. That was a great match. New rivalry. We head over to Raw. Braun Strowman and MVP in a Hell in a Cell. Okay, this is why we did easy. This bullshit is stupid. Hell in a Cell match for the United States Championship. Braun Strowman is the uni new United States Champion. Amazing match. Amazing now. Uh, Kevin Owens, Akira Tozawa. No promos, by the way. Tozawa wins. That's a joke. Okay, man. How did they... How? 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 Tables match. Oh, because these are all fucking dumb stipulation matches. Tommaso Ciampa and Ezekiel. Ooh, are we? Yeah, main event. Yeah, this is the main event, all right. It's the show main event, not the fucking, not the, not the actual main event. Tommaso Ciampa. We head on over to NXT. Shayna Baszler and Bianca Belair. I mean, this is a pretty. I was going to say a sexy card until I saw the main event. Uh, good match. North American title. Ricochet and Logan Paul. Honestly, sounds pretty fire. Logan Paul, the new the North American champion. That's pretty cool. Rey Mysterio and Gunther. I mean, we've seen that before in real life. That's a pretty cool matchup. Gunther wins. Omos and Johnny Gargano. Hopefully Johnny wins. Hey, Johnny wins. 
Who's their champion? Is either of those... I don't think either of them are NXT champion. Unless I was wrong and I missed it. I don't know. Raw killed us. I mean, Raw killed me anyway. And then NXT won the main event. I'm stupid. I'm like, I do logical shit and I still get buried for it. It's dumb. It's dumb. Because they do stupid stipulation shit every week. And it doesn't mean anything. What is this, AEW? I know, we know all this shit. We know all this shit. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Decent enough problem by Brock tonight. I heard Wesley beg the GM to get out of a match when he just performed. Alright, well, we're gonna be in like fucking third place here. I'm pretty sure we're in third. You successfully accomplished the commissioner goal this week. They have rewarded you with this power card for your efforts. Alright, don't. To the moon, only usable on superstars with less than 60 popularity and 15 popularity to a superstar after their next match. Interesting. Yeah, we are in dead last. Fuck off. Now, we know we need to become number one. Woods. Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Understanding superstar morale. Yeah, we know that. Triple H is just a reminder to ensure that your opening match and your main event are both stronger than the mid-card matches next to them. Okay. Um, the crowd wants to see a show that starts in a high and ends on a high. He just is back in Atlanta. I can't wait to put on a show for you. Oh, I forgot he was from Atlanta. All right. Wesley says, That loser Otis attacked me during my last fight. I'm not going to stand for that garbage like that. I want to settle things in the ring with him within the next three weeks. Yeah, that, yeah, we can do that next week. We'll probably... Either that or the pay-per-view, I guess. Um, not fulfilled. I have at least one false Count Anywhere match in the, on the show this week. Probably Randy and Balor, to be honest with you. AJ expects to make an appearance in front of his hometown crowd. Do we do the Intercontinental title match tonight? That's the question. Also, can you do six-man tags or no? Mm, that's regular tag. That's fine. I was just curious. At least you could do triple threats and, and shit like that, because in the past you couldn't. It was fucking dumb. I'm thinking... I like, I like the, I mean, I don't like to do stipulation shit all the time, but I liked it as our main event. Falls count anywhere. I like that. Let's do that as our main event. Let's do interference running. Brock going after Finn Balor. And it can't end in a DQ, because guess what? It's a fucking falls count anywhere, bitch. Um, Do we crown our new Intercontinental Champion tonight? That's the question. We'll do the women's match second this week. And that'll be the tag team match, I said. So it seems like a pretty show easy... I mean, we're doing a lot in our first episode, I get it, but this seems like a pretty easy match to book. Roxanne and Cora. Yeah, there we go. Title match. I know it's not going to further any feuds. I don't think the tag team matches do that, which is fucking dumb. That's stupid. Um, that looks like it's a pretty easy match to me. I mean, you can make that a title match for the women's tag team titles. I, I We don't have enough women to do a tag team title match. I'm not going to do that. I feel like that'd be silly. Um, at least not yet. That'll be our main event. I think our first Intercontinental Champion will be crowned in the opener. Um, Sammy and Wesley. With interference from Otis. Going after Wes. Because if Wesley becomes champion, then I think that can be for the Intercontinental title. So I like that, actually. All right, that'll be our opener. I like that a lot, actually. This looks, I mean, I doubt this show will get us good ratings because they don't care about logical booking, but whatever. Um, AJ and Chad makes sense. AJ and Chad as a little showcase for AJ in his hometown. I like that. All right, that looks like a really sexy card, not even counting the promos and shit. Um, Riddle will do... Let's see, I don't know what we're going to have Riddle do, actually. Shinsuke's free. Let's do... I mean, he did a charity promo last week. Maybe this week he can call out someone. He can call out... Maybe Sami Zayn. Right? Um, I don't know why exactly. Maybe... maybe let, let's say Sami becomes champion. I'm just going to assume Sami becomes champion. That will be my... Yes, and then Shinsuke can be his first opponent. I'm just forward thinking here, and if he's not champion, then he's just calling out Sammy for being an asshole. So he'll call out Sammy. 
Um, let's see, self promo Bailey, and then call out Riddle. Who's Riddle calling out? Is Riddle calling out anyone? I don't think so. Balor, Brock, and Randy will be busy. Maybe uh, we'll keep Riddle on the on the side for this week. He'll just do advertising, generate extra revenue, charity. Actually, he'll do the charity shit. He'll do the charity. All right, that looks like a pretty... I mean, let's book this stuff. Oh, shit. You can purchase this already? Unlock cost, $5,000. Yeah, we have the budget for that. Pal! Concert Hall, Capital Wrestling Center, Fleet Center, Big Open Stadium. Big, okay, cool. All right, at least we're going to upgrade this week. We're not doing that shit out already. We're not doing we're not doing this dumb what is a high school gym. Stupid. Uh, road crew, basic lights and effects. All right, all that is uh, manageable. Good, good, good. Uh, manage roster. Looks like the front ones. Cena still free for $268,000, which we can't afford. We can. Um, but oh god. Carmelo Hayes. And we'll probably pick someone up at the pay-per-view. Maybe debut someone at the pay-per-view. That's my uh, expectation. We'll buy someone who... Well, well, we have the money now to do it, but we'll... I mean, we're, we're making do with who we have currently. So we'll probably do it at the pay-per-view. No, we don't want to quit. All right. Surpass 400000 in the bank. Surpass $600,000 in the bank. I mean, okay, we'll probably, we probably should save money then. I always was like, I never had any money in my last season of this, of this game, in the last game. But if they want us to do the money thing, then we'll probably have to save up for that. All right, so that's our first episode of the show. We did a lot today. We did the draft. We did our first show. We just booked our second show. This will be week two, episode two. I know last year, in the last season, I did the draft as an episode, and then the first week was episode two, so it was kind of confusing. Um, now it should all be kind of uh, synonymous with each other, all kind of, uh, what's the word? Uh, it all kind of flows. I'm forgetting the word right now, but um, it'll all be flowing very nicely. Episode two will be week two in the game, and then we can kind of go from there. So we have a great second show to look forward to next week. I'm hoping to do new episodes every Monday. Uh, we have Sami Zayn versus Wesley, who crowned our inaugural Intercontinental Champion. Shinsuke Nakamura hopefully calling out the new Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Um, Charlotte and Rhea taking on Roxanne and Cora Jade. I think maybe we should do that match next week, actually. This should be a singles match, I'm thinking. With Rhea and Cora. I think that makes more sense. Bailey, I like being in that match. Roxanne wants another shot. Alright, I like that. Alright, I like that. I like that. Okay. We'll do the tag team match probably next week, and then maybe before we have the pay-per-view for the SmackDown women's title. Um, AJ and Chad in AJ's hometown of Atlanta. That sounds nice. Um, and AJ wasn't on the show last week, was he not? I already forget. And then Balor and Randy in a rematch in the main event. Falls count anywhere. Brock Lesnar getting involved. Um, that looks like a great show. Thank you guys for checking out episode one, the season two premiere of hashtag GSM4GM here in WWE 2K23, my GM mode. Looking forward to a great season. Probably losing again and getting my ass kicked, but at least we have some great matches and storytelling to look forward to. A, even a bit better than last time, which I thoroughly enjoyed as well. Have a great one, guys. Enjoy all the other videos here on the channel and all the other 2K game videos uh, in the playlist down below here on the video and uh, channel and whatnot. Have an awesome one. I'm Graham G. Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.